My parents did medical work in Africa, and so I grew up seeing uh, lots of communities that were very poor and had s extreme health problems. And so I was really interested in understanding what made people so sick in poor places and what were the most important problems so that that could help inform policy. And so, uh, you know, when I was a student, a graduate student, a medical student, uh, I kept trying to find answers to those questions. And nobody really had the answer because there wasn't really great data on what made people sick and what were the drivers. And so I've spent the last 25 years working on that. We've created a thing called the Global Health Data Exchange, which is a huge online data catalog uh, that's really pretty nice and easy to use. And so you can search and find data. If you're interested in you know, back pain in Papua New Guinea, you can find what's there. Everybody should have you know, free access to timely, valid, and local information about health. And the timely part of that, and the relevant part, means that it is a constant process. You know, we are, we are never done. I travel a lot, and I do not like to travel. I would prefer to be at home with my four-year-old, so, uh, but it's part of the job.